What's up, guys? It's Burn back here, and we're jumping back into some, the silent. I may or may not have just played a silent run without recording, so yay! And um, we're gonna jump back into here. Um, two colors first. Let's try switching up the ring of the snake. There's some interesting uh, boss items. Shuffle three slimes. Add three slimes to your draw pile. Every time you shuffle, though, but gain one extra energy. Uh, okay. Not the worst. Go down this path right here. Definitely not the best or the worst, if I had to say so. Okay. Oh, we have four. I need to remember that. I always do that. I, f I get this new relic that does awesome and amazing things and forget to use it. Does the poison slide a hand? All right. So, we did lose when I played the silent last. Um, because, actually, let's go with the neutralize. Uh, I, I diversified too much out of the archetype I, sh like, was trying to go with. Um, and I don't think any of these are what we want. We could remove, though. Let's remove a basic strike. And lean maybe more into poison? You can tell how confident I was with that statement. But... I think since we have a deadly poison, we might as well take advantage of that fact. It also looks like based on the way, you know, the way we're playing, uh, we could use a little bit more draw. And in turn. Because we are right at the edge of maxing out our hand. Fetch a random card from your discard pile. Draw one card. And place it in your hand. Eh... I don't really like any of these. They're not really uh, tickling my fancy. We'll transform a defend this time. Oh, dagger spray. It's actually a really good one. One I would definitely happy to have. Not the kind of opening you want to have against the Grim Gremlin knob, though. Really want a, a strike heavy or skill heavy first turn. You don't want really a mix. Because you either want to get out all your skills and powers. To start with, or just like hit him as hard as you can. Okay, oh nice. Two slimes. Alright, so this should be his big one. We would really wanna lay him out here if we can. And we can. Awesome. Sure can every time we play three attacks in a single turn, game one strength. Well that see that leads more towards a uh, a shiv deck, but I think we're gonna continue with the poison. I don't want to diverge, and we'll see how that, you know, lends to us. So this goes for Necrotic Poison. So adds two more damage. But it matters for stacking it up. A fair bit, actually, too. Because Necrotic Poison is very, very good. Okay. That, that. Strike. Trying to take less damage. And we are getting one strength. And as much as like. The strength is nice. Because you don't gain as much of it. As the silent. I don't think it will make a deck. It's hard to set up. Well there's Blade Dance though. We'll take one copy of it. Okay. I'm a sucker for our shivs. Uh, whenever you gain a debuff. Whenever you gain a debuff. Gain temporary HP equal to the amount. Start your turn. Reduce your turn based debuffs by 2. And gain 5 max HP. Pretty good one. A little bit of health for us, too. Alright. Toxin wave. We'll do deadly poison on him. And strike him. So the point is to get the cultist down first if we can. But I can strike him and get him out of the way, not taking the debuff. So I guess I should do that. Okay. So the point, the reason I took Blade Dance uh, as a card is by once we upgrade it, it'll be one point of strength and three shifts. Poison smoke screen, six blocks. Apply that much poison randomly split among all enemies. That's pretty cool. I did see infinite blades, but I chose not to. So this one will go to takes off the exhaustive. I like that. A little block and a little poison. Which there wasn't really any of those. Like in the opening set of cards. 
for the silent. Any block poison cards. Toxin wave. Strike. So that should wake him up. It's a bad thing about poison is it wakes him up through his block. Um, deadly poison. I guess blade dance. Upgrading blade dance would have also could have been a very uh, useful thing to have done. But I'm just going to power through this one if I can. Really stack up the poison where we can. Oh, I should have played out the slime, but it's not going to matter. You are dead, sir. I'm always paranoid that I'm going to uh, forget what order like poison attacking comes in and have him poisoned and him attack first. Uh, Vajra, start each combat with one strength. Okay. I don't think... Ah, Toys of the Trade is just like a good card, but... Do I? I guess so, yeah. We'll take it. Leans more into a discard deck, but we'll see how that helps us. Just the additional, like, uh, the additional, like, card every time just could be useful. Okay, so discard a card. I'm going to play Toxin Way, so the strike I don't need. Okay. Defend, Blade Dance. Okay. And he is dead this turn. So close to surviving. Uh, I don't care. In turn. Does make your run, I guess, feel a little slower. Because you have to stop every beginning of every turn. Does a blade dance. It's really making it hard to decide what I should be doing with this deck. Okay. And all that's gone. This is here. That. Okay. So we've already removed all their artifacting, so it's pretty nice. One of the harder things to do on like turn one with this character. Okay. I guess I should actually be going for one of these other sentries. It'd make more sense. Blade dance. Uh, this. Five, seven. We're, so we have, technically we have 12 HP. Take a 9, so we'll be down to 3. Ugh. Get him down. Alright, low energy. I mean, low health, I guess. This is kind of where we'd really want to uh, see this come through. That one's dead. I can't fire potion and kill this one. So we have to draw. Poison him, and now, well, actually, survivor out the tools of the trade and defend. Save our fire potion. Crack poison. Bunch of damage to each of them. That kills you, and this kills you. Neat. So three HP, but we got our fire potion back. One of those. Much more increase your strength for every se sequential attack played to maximum 10. Well, again, it's really making it hard to decide what I should be playing. It sounds like I should be going more towards ships instead of uh, to poison. Because it's not really very good to be playing uh, sequential, like, like using two different types. That's what's got, a, got us killed last time. Um, something um, unrelenting. I think that's Gremlin Knob. Correct. Let's drop that. We want to just do as many attacks sequentially as we can in the order of which deals the least amount of damage. Because, yeah, we will stack up all that. And we've almost killed him. So, yeah, I think, unfortunately, we are going to be going into shivs. Most only unfortunately because we've already put so much like, uh, you know, so much time into what we were already doing. You're a dead gremlin knob, and I will still take a little bit. And got the mushrooms. All right. Um, discard the basic thing. Smoke screen. Attack. Attack. Oh, we have Giria. Why are we at seven, though? 
Not only two stuff. Oh, from the shuriken. I was really confused on what was going on there for a second. Uh, got a copy of the burn. Let's see what relic we get. Ooh. Or Calcum is pretty good. And mostly because we have uh, tools of the trade. I don't really have to pay attention to like some of these cards that we're getting here. Stack up this damage. And playing Toxic Wave and stuff, as cool as they are now, they break our metronome. So I think we will drop them. Uh, take the Frail. 100%. Okay, drop a Slime. Yeah, I think we're just going to start... Well, the problem is we do have to play the Blade Dances to get more shivs, which also interrupts it. So I can see, like, the uh, the downsides to some of these. Her toilet gains one languid. Okay. Uh, we're going to do gremlins. So, as much as, you know, it could be considered the wrong move to dual class into this, I don't think it's going to uh, affect us too much. Give her some of these slimes. But we're fine. I don't think we're going to uh, fail this one. Uh, take one damage. Lose zero HP, obtain five bites, exhaust all strikes. Sure. All right. Uh, keep the burns away. The burns are the more annoying ones, in my opinion. And then all that poison. Pretty nice. Defend, and okay. Now I wish the slimes debuffed us so we could get more effect out of the durian. Okay. Because we're just stacking on that uh, shielding. Um, I think slowed is what I want. We'll take a little bit more damage the more cards we play, but I don't think that's going to be a problem. Okay, this. This. Yeah. Metronome's awesome. And that's kind of what I thought. Taking the slow, every time it stacks up, we get... More, uh, more shielding. Getting too vulnerable. Let's do it. Give me more shields. Drop the slime. Wish we had more attacks. I think I'm just going to keep up the metronome. Like, I don't have to defend if I don't need to. Uh, give me the gremlins. Alright, she's leaving this turn, so... I think we'll drop this. As much as I, you know, think it could be better to play something else, I think we're just going to, you know, hit him, kill him, do this. We're going to lose some of that, but kill both those two. He's going to shield, and he, she's out of here. That was a good fight. I think we're kind of figuring out what we should be doing now. Necrosis. Convert all poison to necrotic poison. See? It's it's leading me in two different directions. I gotta yeah. I'm doing them both. Okay. Carvors have randomly altered stats and effect. Could be fun. Cursed key is also pretty cool. Tiny house is kind of lame. Uh, I think we gotta go ring of chaos. So some of our stuff's gonna be altered. We went jungle. Oh, a city because I skipped the jungle one by accident. We'll do jungle. Okay. Got some mushrooms here. A little bit of this. A little bit of that. One of these. Uh, and we'll survive. Alright, so we want cards that drop out. I don't think it's good for necrosis yet. We really need something like uh, deadly poison or like some more of those. Okay. Drop that. Um, crack poison. Blade dance, blade dance. You're done. You're done. This is done. Ah, oh, I didn't mean to kill him. I meant to hit this other one. So I think we take four because of that misclick right there. Uh, drop this. 
There's too many things happening. I just want them all dead. Okay. None of these. If they don't do poison or shivs, I don't want them. I had sl uh, Spyroco socks. Um, I don't think so. I don't think we can handle the, like, the destroying our deck. Because it would trash it. Pretty bad. Get this. Let's do both these. Get a lot of uh, strength to start with. And because of that, I don't think I'm going to do Necrotic Poison. I think I'd rather keep our Metronome for another turn. Drop the Defend. Yeah, and we are going to lose it this turn. But if we do that... Survivor, drop this, and do Defend. We should be fine. Alright, drop another Defend. Neutralize, Strike, that. Yeah, these guys get way easier to fight the longer the fight we go into. Okay, and we'll drop this and do a defend. And you're done, dude. Toxin potion, yeah. Apply five necrotic poison to all enemies. It's really good. Exploit weakness, apply equal to the target's weak. Nope. These are all for like weakness and discard decks. Which is not what we're running right now. Okay. This will get us two of these. Kind of split the damage up, I think, to start with. Then do that. Okay. We are confused. Um, I could do a lot of damage for three using these two in combination. We'll drop the three cost of fend. Free shivs. And then I think we will do something like this. And that. So that one does exhaust, which I need to keep in mind. So it's a one time, like, the way to really, like, enjoy that card, I think, would be to, uh, use, what's the silent card that, like, doubles or triples poison? Use that thing. And then turn it on into necrotic poison. That's how you get the most out of that, I think. Essence is still, I don't care about. Uh, another Toxin Waves? Three cards you draw this turn, gain one energy, and deal four damage. Eh. No. Necrotic Poison all the way. Upgrade a card. Does this lose exhaust? It loses. Apply Necrotic Poison equal to the amount lost to all enemies. Poison on. Okay. Let's do that. It's an interesting one. And we're gonna smith another card anyway, so. Lay Dance, start getting these upgraded. Get that extra point of strength going on. All right, you're really annoying for a, a shiv deck. The only advantage I have is that I'm also getting strength, so. You're malleable, is an annoying feature. Um, that, this, this. So we got 10 poison on them. So converting that will turn it to 18 damage. Okay. Drop to defend. I think we will go ahead and do that. Yep. Plus this. And this. And I think you're dead. If you're not dead, you're so close to being dead. Do I really want to take 15 damage? No. Do that. A little bit of waste. Fine. Another blade dance. Okay. I think we can hit an elite. Big Sneko. Okay. Blade dance. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Hit him. Poison. Toxic wave. So two strength. Turn one. All right. So toxic wave is going to really fudge up these things. Um, I think we'll just go straight super attacks. And we might actually just go ahead and kill those eggs in a minute, but I kind of want to leave it to the uh, the dagger spray. Yeah. Because I can't remember if he gained strength based on eggs dying. It seems like something I remember, but I don't... Like, I'm not super keen on that memory. 
Yeah, you're super done. Uh, not super done. Now you're super done. Good elite fight. Baseball. Pop pick up, choose a random card, and your deck becomes free. All right, play dance. Awesome. Doo -doo, tiny chest. More gold and 10% more likely to find question mark rooms. I think they've changed tiny chest now. I think it's actually a lot better in the, like, the base game. I think I'm gonna, as much as I want to go for this elite, well, no, we can, yeah. Yeah, actually. I almost talked myself out of it, but I didn't. Well, this is like a really piss poor hand compared to some of the other hands we've had. All right, tools of trade, you have it. So I'm gonna hit you three times, which will be easy if I draw all the correct cards. Now this is gonna hurt you though. All right. So we got four strength to start with. Ooh, you took my other blade dance, which I really want. Let's stack up the strength. Let's get these back. Okay, that. And then we'll do this. Okay. I think I'm going to take... No, I got the shielding. We're good. Okay. You are hurting. Oh, you're both dead now. It's so surprising when you they go from like... Because of the metronome, you increase in damage so quickly. Slimy hat. Raise your maximum hand size by two. It's pretty neat. I don't think any of those are necessary. Pride. Whenever you play a card, gain one strength. Eh, that's gonna kind of put a da like a, a damper on my turns. Because I play a lot of cards. But you also, I don't think, are gonna be around for very long. Like, yes, you're at 10 strength. But you're also at less than half health. So you weaken me. All right, so this is kind of the turn where I should be a little bit more mindful if I can't kill him, which I'm not confident I can't, because I can. That necrolysis is pretty good. Storm of Steel, yeah, it's a pretty good one. All right, and we will upgrade Storm of Steel, make it better, upgrade shivs. A little bit more damage there. Hit this boy. Multi-tool. You have two additional options at rest site. Chosen randomly. Oh, that's pretty cool. We have rest site right here. Footwork. Eh. Crippling poison could be good. Uh, right click to combat. Retain this hand. Meh. Not really, like, keen on that. Um... And a random card would exhaust. I don't really care about that. Either. Put three random attacks in your hand. Up from your draw pile. Into your hand. That could be good. I'm thinking violent. Let's go violent. Let's go card removal. Remove. I think a basic defend. So we're going to go in high damage. And let's do clockwork souvenir. And then I want to, ooh, I can do 20% rest and get a, a smith. On blade dance, perfect. It's not the, oh, I clicked off the screen. Not the one I would 100% went for. Uh, I think I would have upgraded violence first, but totem magic, okay. Remember totem dies, all enemies gain one strength. Totem is alive, this thing's immune to damage. Okay, so I need to kill these totem boys. All right, blade dance. Oh, gosh, what is happening? Instantly attacks when you play a card that targets all enemies or multiple. Oh, well, fudge these guys. They all have those? Yeah, they all have these. Okay, I need to kill these freaking totems because that's atrocious. Okay. So yeah, she's just immune to damage. 
Because a lot of my tar cards target a lot of people. So I need to watch that. Okay, do this. Oh, they didn't do it. So it's... How many totems are stacked here? Frick you, totems. Okay, I can kill this middle one. Okay, I need to drop a card, drop the defend. I think I will just Storm of Steel. Well, Blade Dance first. Storm of Steel. Let's try to kill all these things. 12. Another one down. You're dead. How many of these are there? Are there? Good lord. Like, I need to kill them all to do stuff. I want to get to where I'm at 40 freaking strength. Because I'm at 6 strength right now. Uh, drop a defend. Good lord. Put 3 from my... Okay. Shiv. Strike. Freaking strike. Okay, those are dead. Alright. Six additional strength. Yeah, since we took damage, we lose our metronome. Okay. It's hard. This is a hard one. Um, I want to drop the slime. Alright, so I want to blade dance first. Storm of Steel. More shivs. You're dead. And you're definitely dead. Sucks that I had to waste one of those on you. Now she is available. Okay, are you ready to get very much hurt? Because you only have 50 health. Okay. This is not fun, but we got through it. Another Storm of Steel? I think so. I don't think another Necrop like Necrolysis would well. Aspiration. Lose 3 HP at the start of your turn. Whenever you would die in combat, heal to your maximum HP and gain Awoken. Awoken. Heal 10% of unlocked... Whenever an enemy applies a debuff to you, gain one strength. Uh, I don't like that much. I don't really get it, so I don't want to try it. And gain a Woken. Works once. So heal 10% of all unblocked attack damage. Attack damage you deal. Whenever an enemy applies a debuff to you, gain one strength. It sounds awesome. I mean, I'm going to try it now. Uh, beyond. Not the factory. Okay, let's go up the question mark path. Hello, little boys. So it's going to do three damage. Okay. Interesting. Still confused. Why do I have five strength to start off with? I have no idea. Huh. All right. Three more strength. Neutralize you. I'm just going to kill you outright. And since they're not attacking, I keep it. Uh, violence? Yes. Storm of Steel? Oh, I lost a lot of my strength. Don't think it matters, though. Another one dead. I'm kind of at this point just gaining strength is the, is the goal. Blade dance, blade dance. Um, Storm of Steel. I think that's right. I need to upgrade that one to make that do what I want specifically. Uh, none of these. Oh, this one has a question mark. Deal four damage. It's a zero cost. And this one is deal 16 damage, draw one card for two instead. That's from the Ring of Chaos right there. Three cards. Train. Three cards. Transform three cards into silent cards of the same type. Uh, I don't. I think I'm going to ignore them. Because our deck's kind of like very specific. Okay. And seventeen, and then. Since we are going to take damage this turn, I think. Uh, yeah. Either way, we're not 
we're not gonna either not play a skill or not take damage. So we have to do one of the two. Blade Dance, Dormer Steel. All right. Tripwire, question mark. Gain three blocks at the start of your next turn. Stun a random enemy. Mm. Not for this deck, but it's interesting. Wax Seal, Relation Shop or 20% less. Right click to borrow 100 gold. Now to curse my deck. Interesting. Um, we'll add some colorless cards if they're any good. Uncanny Aura. Gain one strength and one dex for each card for each other unplayable card in your hand. Nope. No, those were really that good. Oh, I clicked the wrong one. Gain either one strength, one dex, one focus, or 10 temporary HP. Actually, Panache is really good. Affected by damage modifiers. Poison Strike. That's actually really good. All right. Ooh, other options. Let's just rest. Get a Poison Strike upgraded. Because that seems to be affected by strength, which we have a ton of. And Panache is really good because we play a crap ton of cards every turn. Storm of Steel. Oop, that kind of confused me. Alright, so we are going to take a little damage here. It's fine. Toxin Wave, Toxin Wave. Um, poison Strike. Get that out of here. And we'll defend a little bit. Yeah, he's in trouble. This one dies real quick to poison. Or Colossus. And then, oh, we should have done Deadly Poison first. That was a dumb move on my part. So we take a lot of damage because of that. Uh, Blade Dance. I think we're already done, actually. Looking at where his HP is. Ooh, okay. Another Poison Smoke Screen. Three block. Apply that much poison randomly, so it'd be three poison. That's not that good. Three necrotic poison, one lane grid. To each enemy three times, apply two strength to all enemies. That'd be good, actually. Take that. Ooh, a shop. Multi tool, not really necessary. Is there any cards we want to remove? Uh, not really. Oh, Catalyst. It's actually really good. Let's do a Catalyst here. We could fight the shopkeeper, but there's nothing else here I really want. Try again later. Okay, so we can get this. I'd like to get another rest in too. Bottled egg. Upon pickup, choose one card. All copies of that, of that card you have are upgraded. So our future copies? I mean, it'd be Blade Dance, I guess. Um, uh, yeah. So, we, okay. Two of the cards I was about to upgrade. And then Storm of Steel. Catalyst would also have been a good guess to triple poison, but I would be very surprised if we got it here. Now I think I'll fight the shopkeeper just to get all these. Because it's upgraded two cards. Oh, cards can be upgraded any number of times. Yeah. And just like, I don't know if I want any of I'll not attack... It's increased by two. It's an interesting one. But I think I just want... Yeah. I just think I want it. Well, none of these cards are that great again. So I could get Medikit, Tinksha. No. Not worth it. It's kind of sad, though. Okay. From your draw pile to your hand. What do we get? Poison Strike. Okay. Let's see how many cards we can play before we play uh, Dagger Spray. Poison Strike. Apply 10 Poison. Um, I guess you. 14. Hit you. Dagger Spray. Almost got most of them. Alright, so you're going to be really annoying because you have... Uh, the stupid thing, uh, thorns. So we have to be really selective about how many attacks we hit you with. Doesn't matter, we still got you. Another draining mist. Yeah. 
More poison. More defense. Ooh, time collector. That's going to be real rough on us. Because he's going to super trash our, our hand. So I would like to play as many attacks as he'll let me. And then we'll apply all that poison to him. Oh, doubling dagger. I'm like, okay. He increased our deck by a little bit, but not... Not an unexpected amount. So we're going to double this. And then we're going to necross. Bad day for you, man. 36 times 2. And then next turn, it's going to be 36 damage. Violence. Uh, all non-attacks. No, I want to do... Probably Draining Mist. And then this. Because, yeah, the negative 2 strength and the language is pretty good. And then Blade Dance. Panache. Okay, every time this card is played, increase the shift count for this combat. Yeah, I should do that, and then I'll do this. Okay, that's death to him. Fun Fungus. If you have leftover energy at the end of your turn, heal that much HP at the start of your next turn. Ooh. An Echo Drought. Discard, drink that. That's like a like a fight ending uh, potion right there. If this card is discarded from your hand, she has dealt three additional damage. Meh. Not really that good of a card, I would say. Not for what we're doing. All right, panache. Should do draining mist just to get it out there. Okay. And I still think we have a full heal in this. Come back. Yeah. Alright, so we have this poison strike. I also like that the poison strike takes zero. Like, it does... It costs no, uh, no energy. Which I very much appreciate. I should have uh, played it first after playing all these attacks. But, not too worried. So he has seven poison on him. We're going to drop the normal strike. We're going to violence just to double check. Nothing. So I want to do that, this, this. Ooh. Now we have the catalyst. Um, can we kill him this turn if I do it right? So we could do ten with that. Storm of Steel. We're going to take a little damage here, but it's fine. Not much else I could have done about it. Besides Echo Drought and try to do something weird like that. Yeah. The goal will be trying to finish him right here. I got tons of shivs. They're all going to get plus 10. Yeah, he's done. I mean, eventually they would all got plus 10. Dang, it's really trying the Necrosis. Um, I kind of want the health, so I got the rest. Let's take the rest, just in case, as we go to the time eater. So he's not really who we'd want to fight, if we're being honest. Like, in terms of uh, all the bosses that are out there. Okay, and then deadly poison. Okay. So I think our goal will be to stack in a crap ton of poison and just end up in one turn. Uh, ooh, 39 damage. What's your... Who, like, farted in your cornflakes, man? Are we... No. Okay. Neutralize them. I was to say, are we somehow dead? Not far from it, though. Dang. Glad I rested. Uh, drop this. Uh, keep the necrosis. Yeah, because it's exhaust. Draining mist. Strike. Okay. So he should do much less damage this turn. Uh, drop the... Yeah. So, I should play this, and then Survivor, I think. Just to do the least amount of damage to me. Unfortunately, I would want to play the Catalyst, but it's fine. He's doing no damage. 
And we're slowly, like, taking on the poison. Not very quickly, but... Quick enough. Alright, we have plenty of cards we can play this turn. Okay. Well, actually, not as many as I would have liked. Yeah. A lot of shields went back in the deck. Whew. Alright. We kind of need, yeah, something to come up soon. I could go ahead and Necrosis here. Could I double it? No, I can't really double that, though. Alright, we'll do that. 25 of that should really hurt him. Yeah, he purged, though. That's kind of what I was afraid of. Okay. Um. Toxic Wave. Do that. Get three shivs. We're not going to die. We still have a heal in this uh, Ritual Dagger. Okay. Discard the Slime. Poison. I think I'm going to go ahead and do the Echo Drought to double the Catalyst. Just to get some poison back up on there. Alright, he is going to knock us out right here. Yep. Now it's evolved. Whenever I get a debuff, we get one strength. Okay. Shiv. Strike. Poison. Survivor. Drop that. Alright, so we're going to get a ton of energy based off of that thing we got. So yeah, I think we got this. Nice. The dagger was necessary, though, to win. Not a one. Still not getting good scores, but... Concentrate, set up in grand finale. Because we're on the modded one. We have not unlocked everything yet. It's pretty funny. Anyways, guys. I'm going to wrap up here. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, you can hit that like button. Or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.